Hello and welcome to Will's tutorial. Um, we're going to look at the basic tutor map here and I'm going to show you how to modify it um, in a few easy steps. Um, the first step that we're going to do is we're going to make this ship here, which is you, um, die. As you may have noticed in, in the template, you know, if I if I fly into these ships, at the moment I don't die, um, but I can I can make my enemies die. So that's the first thing. That's why I'm going to say that. Um, so first of all, if we go into enemy, obviously when it, when a laser hits the enemy, the em enemy is exploding. So fingers crossed, the code that we need is or similar code is going to be within within the enemy um, sprite or actor over here so if we double click in the enemy and up here we've got the basic movement of the enemy so it's saying the enemy moves left which is 180 degrees relative to the actor so it's kind of moving towards the actor and Additives fine. Uh, speed is 200, so that's all good. So it's moving re a reasonable pace. And the the thing that we're after is this rule here. So what this rule says is when when all these conditions here are valid, when when the actor receives an event. So when it overlaps or collides with a certain thing with an actor or type with the laser it dies and the, the code for dying is here destroy destroy this actor so it destroys itself when it hits a laser the next thing it does is it spawns another actor or sprite or animation um, and that actor is a small explosion so that's this thing here where's a small explosion which is this thing here so it'll play that which is these frames of sprites here um, so it will play the small explosion in front of the actor so directly in front of the actor you don't need to change in any of this relative to the actor um, so what we're going to do, we're going to copy this this code here, um, all of this code, so the whole of the rule, and we're going to paste it onto the ship here, so that we die. Um, so this this kind of looks a bit confusing at the moment. I'm not going to touch on any of this. At this moment in time, but if we just minimize all this, oops. so it might take a while, and then at the bottom here, just command and V or edit and paste, like so. Um, if you play it now, it still won't function because obviously, you know, it's it's not correct. So when I fire a laser it makes myself blow up. The reason that it's doing that is because when the actor receives an event, so when it overlaps or collides with a laser, you know, it destroys itself. So we need to change laser to enemy. So hopefully when we play this now no, I can still shoot I can still shoot my enemy, but when the enemy comes and hits me, then I explode. So that's all good. Thanks for watching.